The sweet finale of Bachelor in Paradise was marred when a scandal broke out. Texts surfaced that appeared to show Jenna Cooper cheating on Jordan Kimball. The two broke up, but it didn't end there. Jenna is going to great lengths to prove that she's no cheater. And now it's Jordan who's on the defensive, insisting that he didn't fabricate the alleged texts in the first place. Jenna Cooper has hired a lawyer because she is that serious about proving that she did not cheat on Jordan. Justin R. Apple reached out to encourage Jordan to publicly state that Jenna did not cheat on him, threatening to otherwise expose him. Apple's stated theory was that Jordan himself had manufactured the texts of his alleged cheating. Apple stated this in an email to Jordan, which Jordan then put on display for the world to see rather than backing down. This means that Apple will likely proceed with his lawsuit, which he believes will expose Jordan for having framed Jenna as a cheater. Jordan Kimball spoke to Entertainment Tonight on Sunday, October 7. I absolutely, 100% did not fabricate those text messages, Jordan announced. Jordan doubled down on his defense, saying, I'll put my hand on the Bible for that. He had chosen to do this instead of apologizing for rushing to judgment after the alleged texts surfaced. Instead, he is showing the world exactly what Jenna's attorney is planning to do next. Apple's email promised to move forward with a number of actions if Jordan failed to speak out to clear Jenna's name. First, there was a promise to release texts that Jordan and Jenna had exchanged. This would show how the allegedly fabricated texts are eerily similar to texts that Jenna had sent to Jordan. Second, to file a lawsuit against Reality Steve, who is definitely not the bad guy in this story. The purpose of the lawsuit is to attempt to force him to reveal his source for the text messages. We wouldn't hold our breath on that suit's success. Apple warned Jordan to neither release the email to the public, which he then did, nor contact Jenna in response. I was absolutely blindsided by this, Jordan explained to Entertainment Tonight. When I got this email, I called Mr. Apple. I left him a voicemail, Jordan says. He continues, then, we got on the phone and he started shouting at me. In my mind, that isn't okay, Jordan says. At this point, I have nothing to say to them. I am trying to live my life and move on, Jordan says. I am a victim in this, Jordan affirms, adding, I hope, Apple, enjoys the public eye. Jordan shares how he really feels about Apple, saying, I hope he is on the toilet sick over all this, calling his mother and doesn't know what to do. What he gave me is, an ultimatum, Jordan accuses. This is not a good person I'm dealing with, and he's messing with the wrong guy. Jordan Kimball is not walking into a courtroom, Jordan concludes in the third person. He ended the engagement over what he was presented with and he moved on. It looks like there are a few possibilities here. 1. That Jenna cheated on Jordan but was so careful about doing so that even a forensic analysis of her phone doesn't show a trace of it. In that scenario, Jordan would be reeling from emotional injury, and Jenna would feel humiliated and guilty. 2. That Apple's theory is correct, and Jordan fabricated text messages that showed Jenna cheating. He would have used his own texting history with Jenna as a basis for realistic texts, and then sent them to Reality Steve. One can only assume that he did so in order to end the well-publicized engagement without losing face. That would be... monstrous. But there is a third consideration, and it seems that Jordan, at least, may be a little too hot under the collar to truly consider it at the moment. Absolutely anyone can fake text messages. But only someone who has seen Jenna's texts could reproduce them so accurately. We're inclined to believe that Reality Steve is confident that his source is the real deal, so it's probably someone close to Jordan or to Jenna. This third party might, for whatever reason, have fabricated these texts and sent them in, possibly in an effort to sabotage this relationship. There's no version of this that isn't heartbreaking. Jordan and Jenna really did seem to be in love. It's hard to imagine that they'll get back together. What do you think got it? Share your opinion in the comments below the video. And also subscribe to the channel now to miss new, interesting videos.